よし What's going on, guys? It's you here bringing you another review on The God of High School. And in this one, we actually get to see the grandfather after, honestly, I presumed him to be dead. But we see that he's having to deal things on his own in the mountains. And he's having to deal with the religious group. And this episode, for moments, I will say, kind of went over my head. But also, this kind of is a gateway to what's going to be happening later on. Or if being, we're introduced to a bunch of new characters, we're introduced to a bigger world than what we've seen in the last five episodes. Because in comparison, it looks like what we saw in the last five episodes have been just like the very beginning. Because now we're seeing a lot more of people and groups here. And it's just, it's it's getting crazy to kind of keep up with what's going on. It's, it's almost to a point where it's kind of fast paced. But it's still cool like it's still at a at a pace that i think that even though it's fast it could still be understandable and we actually get to see changes also being made for the following tournament now that we saw uh, mori win this preliminary round in this area in seoul we actually get to see now that they're gonna actually have a team now the, f the top three will be able to compete in the tournament now which will be like a tag team which is cool it's a, it's a different concept and it also gives them the ability to have you know uh, both Han and Mira to join in which we see Mira actually gaining her spot finding the Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy and she wins rather easily so it was really cool to see how she actually was able to qualify we get to see how funny uh, Mori is to kind of cheer her on and just being that friend I mean that is a friend right there like if we if you guys don't have a friend like that you need to get one you know or be that friend for someone else you know that's probably the best way I could say that so it was really cool to see and so now they're all together they're gonna be working together again so it's really cool we actually get to see Mira kind of uh, thinking about how she feels weaker than the rest of them so we'll see what she does in regards to that you know what training she does and we also see what's going on with Han who obviously you know it used to be that his motivation to continue fighting was for his friend but now that his friend has passed away he's now kind of like it may seem like he's lost the will to live but he actually goes and talks to Park Mujin and he actually tells him like no it's like I gotta pay the debt that I have and I know the dead guy is gonna come and kick my ass if I don't do it and I want him to be peaceful so it's kind of cool how he's rationalizing this and more importantly we get to see Han asking about the whole like what's going on what what's really the reason here and we see him we, Mujin actually explaining what is going on like the actual truth the powers and how they want to have this ability to uh, you know control this unhuman like power so it, it's it's really crazy out there and we also get to see you know Mori training uh, and meeting this older man who seems to be kind of random we see that the six which is I guess a group of these six people kind of being summoned to kind of help out at least that's what I believe and Park's one of them so that's interesting that he's one of the members and we see that the one that goes to Mori is kind of like a doctor or I guess you could say like a, uh, uh, a I don't know some kind of doc, uh, I don't know sensei of some sort like he, he's very different so that's cool we see Mira again talking to the announcer Shim he actually was blind. Who would have thought, you know, I honestly would have never guessed he was blind. I thought he was just wearing those Kamina glasses to be cool. But um, we see that he's talking to him. And his explanation of also, you know, how the full extent of her power hasn't really been revealed. And that her ability was the reason why he became blind. And it goes really sad, too, because it's like later on in the episode, we see that Shim actually is confronted with one of them these members who are knocks i believe that were called they are actually a group that is very powerful uh and he unfortunately seems to have met his demise so uh, i'm not really a big fan of losing him because we get to see him being replaced by another announcer guy who kind of looks like him still for the new tournament and 
as the new tournament's starting to arrive and we're going down to less you know two weeks now we're seeing these other cast members or these these new members of the whole tournament now being revealed a little bit of their background uh, their formation of groups so it's cool to see these guys you know having you know their introduction and we had seen one of them or at least two of them i believe last episode and we see how strong two of these guys are uh, a blue haired guy who seems to be very i guess you could say uh very crazy like strong and the other one as well who i thought it maybe had been like some kind of connection to mori but i guess not so now all nine areas are going to have the representative so i believe 27 members are going to be competing now for the grand title of you know god of high school so it was cool we see uh, han giving the explanation to the rest of them about what's going on their ability and we see how also kind of interesting right here to see how mori was able to give mira like a i guess her massage to make her feel better so that was kind of cool to see how you know maybe he's learning these new methods and it's just kind of an interesting way to i guess learn from this old man i don't know if he has already or not but we then get to see the commissioner starting to meet at the very end of the episode and these guys are all kind of there except for one and we see we've already seen before q he actually was the one that was missing and we see that he actually has been taken down by the same person that took down shim uh, and this guy looks like bad news. I think he may be one of the more, I guess you could say, prevalent or more stronger evil guys that we're going to be being introduced uh, in the next couple of episodes. So I look forward to it. A very good episode. A great way to start these things. Unfortunately, we get to see some death. Not really what I was expecting. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. And as always, though, guys, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I will catch you later.